Hello Teachers on Fire, today I want to show you how to layer photos in Pixlr.com, the web's best free cloud-based photo editor as far as I know. If you know of a better one, let me know in the comments below. Let's start by opening a beautiful nature picture, shall we? I took this photograph on Alouette Lake in British Columbia and wow do I wish that I was on this lake right now. Next, I'd like to open a picture of everyone's favorite guy star of Red Notice and so many other films, Dwayne Johnson. The connection with the bald head and love of blue suits is purely coincidental. I have to tell you, Pixlr.com does not have a great background remover. So to do that job, we're going to go into Canva and we're going to create an Instagram story. Instagram story, had trouble getting that out. Now, I'm not actually out to make an Instagram story today. I just know that the shape of the canvas is basically what I'm after here with Dwayne Johnson. And we're going to bring in that picture of Dwayne, pop it in there. Canva is going to just allow it to fill the canvas very nicely. And we're going to select it, edit image and background remover. Now, as we save this image, it's going to be important that we save it with a transparent background. We actually don't want the white at all, although we could get rid of the white if we wanted to in pixelr.com, but check that box, transparent background. Make sure you check that and download to your drive. All right, we've downloaded the image. Now let's open pixelr.com, pixlr.com. And like I said, it's the best free cloud-based photo editor on the web that I know of. We're going to open image, ignore all those recents that you saw below, and we're going to find the background image of Alouette Lake that I mentioned earlier. So there we have it, Alouette Lake is ready to be edited. And we're going to bring in our guy, Dwayne Johnson. So I'm going to select layer and add image as layer. And we're going to find our guy, Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. There he is. He's got no background. Let's bring him in. Okay, so right away, he is massive. Now, notice, before I start doing any editing over here, notice the layer control. That is so important, and it took me a while to sort of figure this out. But the layer that is selected, that's the one that you are editing. Your picture may not change, but you've got to make sure you are keeping an eye on which layer am I editing right now. So we're going to zoom back out and we've got to, we've got to bring Dwayne down to size. I mean, the guy is big, but he's not this big. So let's, let's uh, reduce his size just a little bit. Make him a little, little more manageable, right? Now this is already a, a fun photo edit, but this is about as far as most people go. Just one image on top of another. And I have to tell you that doesn't require a whole lot of skill. By the way, we can rename this layer. So let's call it The Rock. The Rock is what I want to call it. I'm, and I'm going to leave this layer unlocked for the time being. So let's just hit enter. And we've got The Rock. Now he's just standing in the foreground and we'd love to see our man here in British Columbia, but uh, he, he's not there. So <laughs> notice when I select this layer, the the outline of Dwayne goes away. When I select the rock, he's back. Now, here's the trick. I want to put Dwayne behind the mountains and in front of the sky. So how do I do that? I'm going to start by turning off the rock layer. We don't need to see that right now. It's not going to be involved in what we're about to do. Next, tricky, tricky, we're going to go to layer and duplicate layer, duplicate layer. Now, let me explain why I'm doing that. Nope. I duplicated the rock, so undo that. Select background, let's try that again. Duplicate layer, see, you've gotta be careful which layer you are editing, which one you are working with. And over here, let me take you back into the layer controls. We're going to rename by right clicking, we're going to rename this one foreground. Foreground, zoom out so I can see what's going on here. And zoom all, whoa, nope. Zoom all the way back out on my screen, okay. So now, what I wanna do is, I wanna work with the foreground and remove the sky completely. So I want the background to go away and make it invisible for a moment while I work with the foreground so that you can see what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna make the background go away. So I selected the magic wand 
and I'm going to select the sky. Now notice it cut a line through the middle of the sky. The AI is sort of trying to determine what shape I want this uh, selection to take up. And it's sort of noticing a difference between darker blue pixels and lighter blue. Hold down the shift key and you can expand the selection. So expand it just a little bit more pixeler and a little bit more over here. Get right down tight to those mountains and then hit delete. Boom, we've got some blank sky. Now notice it left out a little bit of sky in the background. We can play with that. I think we can fix that. We're going to deselect and we're going to grab the eraser tool and I hope this works. I'm going to try to delete or erase rather the, the ugly sky that is remaining. See that? I'm just going to get rid of all that. It's gonzo. Bye bye. And some a little bit of cloud noise here and there. We'll try to clear that up as well. Okay, so now we've basically got the background or sorry, the foreground that we want. Now, if you can picture the foreground as the front layer, Dwayne is going to be in the middle as the middle layer and then our original picture as the back layer. That's where we are going now. Just before I bring in Dwayne, let's lock this layer. I don't want it moving around or doing funny things. And we're going to open up the background again. So background is back. We're going to lock this layer as well. No moving, no playing guys. And then we're going to bring in the rock. This is so much fun. So the rock is our middle layer. Let's turn on the eye icon. There he is. There he is. He is back. Now notice I'm going to, right now I've got the eraser selected. I don't want the eraser tool. I want the arrow or arrange tool. So now see the difference. It's not on the front layer. It's between the mountains and the sky. And now I can resize. I can free transform. I can edit him. I can change his color, saturation, brightness, contrast. Let's just show you a little bit of that brightness. Uh, that could could get weird. No, that's way too white. That's uh, silhouetted. So let's just leave him where he is and cancel that completely. But you can edit that particular layer however you see fit. I'm going to flip Dwayne. Let's have him sort of looking in from the side and we'll position him right there. And then we'll make a quick copy and we'll make another Dwayne and we'll have him flipped back the original way and a little bit larger. And there we have it, two Dwaynes layered in between the foreground and the background, four layers in total. And it was that easy to layer photographs. All right, teachers, so now we have our two Dwaynes. They are well positioned. The only thing remaining for us to do is to save this image. And Pixlr gives you a couple of nice options. You can save as a JPG. You'll notice the file size is 1.9 megabytes. If you want a higher quality image, save it as a PNG. I'm going to recommend turning off transparency and then save to your drive. Hey, if this video was helpful in any way, if it inspired you to do some photo editing with your classes, with your students, or maybe even with your personal photos, give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. I have so much fun making these videos, so thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time right here on the Teachers on Fire channel on YouTube.